The electrical system in the Crossfire top is really simple. There is a handful of micro switches and some travel sensors. And everything is about logic. The computer needs to know which position every component of the top is in to make sure that every step of the sequence is done in a logical, safe way. So there is a bunch of micro switches, for example, telling you when the top is latched all the way, when the top has reached the highest position, meaning the front position. There are travel sensors on the cylinders. There is a micro switch for the um, cargo divider. There's a micro switch in the trunk latch. And I've prob there's a micro switch in the um, tonneau cover lock. There's a micro switch in the rear bow lock. So for every little s sequence, uh, there is a switch telling the computer where the top is at. If that switch isn't giving the correct signal, then the computer will say it's not safe to move on and uh, won't finish the sequence. Now, micro switches are simple. We'll show you the location of every single micro switch. Typically, when a switch clicks, it works unless you have a problem in the wiring harness. Problems in the wiring harness are fairly rare in the crossfire. The other neat thing um, in this system is there are some travel sensors in some of the cylinders, and we'll show you where those travel sensors are. The travel sensors are on three of the cylinders, and these are very fancy um, integrated circuits, actually. Very fancy sensors. I'll try to stay uh, still in front of the camera, so let's the camera zoom in and focus on the sensor. And uh, these travel sensors clip into the rail of the cylinder. They have a magnet built in and a Hall effect sensor. A Hall effect sensor is basically something that um, can sense the change of magnetic field. What happens is when the steel a uh, piston on a cylinder comes closer to the sensor, then the um, permeability of the magnetic field changes, meaning it's easier to build a magnetic field. And that means uh, the pulse signals that come into this uh, sensor will actually um, conduct, uh, um, allow more or less current to flow just because this fancy little hall sensor in here detected or uh, reacts to the magnetic field being easier to build up with more iron close to it or not as easy to build up with less iron close to it. And the computer is smart enough to uh, send uh, pulses here that um, will tell it uh, whether the piston is near the sensor or not. Pretty cool. Now these um, are solid state sensors that don't normally fail. However, they can fail. It's rare. They are safer than micro switches, but they can fail. And uh, fortunately, Top Hydraulics was able to secure a large lot of these sensors, and we do sell them to the public. You cannot buy them from Chrysler or Mercedes or other companies uh, separately. Um, but we have them. You can simply splice them into your wiring harness and make the whole thing work again. The tonneau cover latch switch is inside the tonneau cover latch behind this brass cover. It is a single micro switch that gets activated when the tonneau cover is latched, uh, so in the down position. And um, it is a switch that does not normally fail. Its wiring harness is fairly secure, so it is one of the switches that I worry about the least. The rear bow latch switch is located on the rear bow latch. It gets activated by this little metal lever here that pushes onto the switch. When the click, uh, switch clicks, it works. But there is a complication here. If you have had lots of trouble with the rear window on your top and you've had a lot of water or dirty water intrusion, running into this rear bow latch, it is possible that this lever is just not working properly anymore. So one thing you want to do is, with the rear bow unlatched the way it is now and the tonneau cover open, you want to see whether this lever here is really uh, working freely. Is it springing back on its own or not? The logic here is the switch is a normally closed switch. So this switch will give a closed circuit when it is not being triggered. 
which means when the tonneau cover is latched, I'm sorry, when the rear bow is latched, this um, lever actually gets pulled up and that releases the switch that creates a closed circuit tells the computer rear bow is latched. Now, complication is if there's a problem in this wiring harness that is routed around the tonneau cover hinge, if there's a problem in the wires where they flex a lot, that could falsely trigger a rear bow not latched and um, that will basically um, not let you finish the top closed cycle or if you were to um, close the top um, completely you get a warning chime while you're driving telling you that this basically that this rear bow latch is uh, open. So again exercise this switch and uh, possibly uh, clean with WD-40 if it doesn't work well enough. If you haven't had any dirt or water intrusion into this lock then you don't need to worry much about this switch. The cargo compartment divider switch is in the left side of the trunk and it's pretty obvious it is the switch that tells the computer that the cargo compartment meaning the luggage divider is closed. Here you go. If you want to bypass this switch because you're doing something tricky, well, you just have to put a round piece of material in here about a little bigger than a half inch, 15, 16 millimeters. It's perfect size to trigger the switch. And uh, obviously you want to have this divider in place just as it's designed to be in order to retract the top. The decklet latch switch is indicating when the trunk or decklet has been latched all the way closed because obviously you cannot open the tonneau cover without this uh, decklet being closed at least almost all the way and the computer simply needs the signal that uh, it is switched, um, that it is closed. Well, that switch is behind this cover. There are videos online that show how to deal with this electronic lock on the deck lid. And um, that electronic lock has a readout when it's closed. Um, tells the computer, okay, now it's safe to um, open the top. And we don't want to take anybody else's glory away. Uh, there is, are some or awesome videos on YouTube and some good descriptions on the Crossfire um, forum.org that uh, show if you have accidentally um, stopped the top in mid-cycle and the top is stuck for some reason, um, how to go through this light on the right side, the, the right license plate light, you take this light out and you can actually manually move the uh, electronic um, switch back. It has a white plastic bellows on it. You pull that switch back, the, the, um, the lock back, and at that point you can then manually um, open the top. It's going beyond the scope of this video to go into it any further, especially since somebody has already covered it very well. The tonneau cover travel sensor is on the top of the tonneau cover lift cylinder. It is a hall sensor that tells the computer when the tonneau cover has uh, extended all the way, when it's open all the way, which is indicated simply by the piston in the cylinder coming close to the sensor. And the sensor then uh, telling the computer the cylinder is fully extended. The main travel sensors are on the left main lift cylinder, one for shaft fully extended, one for shaft fully retracted. The rear bow travel sensors are on the left rear bow cylinder, one towards the rear, one towards the front. Currently the rear bow is up, which means the shaft is retracted, which means the sensor towards the front of the car is activated telling the computer rear bow is up.